Yo, what's going on everybody? My name's Collier and in today's video, I'm gonna show you a few tricks to make melodies just like Q beats. I'm gonna be breaking down three fire samples and to prove you don't need a ton of crazy sounds, all the sounds that I use to make these samples came from the Arturia Mellotron 5 plugin. If you watch until the end, I got a crazy, crazy bonus for you guys. All right, now here's the first sample. So the first preset I'm using is called uh, April Showers. It's the MIDI for it. Here's the melody, it's not too bad at all. The only thing I have on the main is this barrier saturation to make it sound a little bit more vintage and a little bit of a high pass filter. So in order to make the main melody, I just rendered it to audio and then I reversed it. But right now I'm gonna show y'all a crazy time stretching hack that you could use to give your melodies a little bit more character. The first thing you have to do is double your tempo. So I'm working at 160, so I'm gonna go to 320, right? Once I get to my tempo, I'm gonna render my melody to an audio file. So now we're gonna go back to our original tempo, which was 160. And you're gonna see that audio clip get half the size of what it is. Make sure you have your stretch audio clips button highlighted, and you're gonna stretch it to the original length of the original melody, which is essentially, you're gonna double its length. And it should sound like this. Now here's where the magic happens. You wanna go into its properties and you wanna take this mode and you wanna switch it to auto. Then your melody should sound like this. Now compare that to the original. And here is the time stretch version. So you can see the time stretch version has a lot more character and a lot more of the artifacts that the original doesn't have. The next thing I added was Cousteau's organ and I just followed the chord progression. For effects, all I have is this Epic Plate by Variety of Sound. If you don't have this plugin, it's a free plate reverb that sounds amazing. If you don't have it, go get it. All right, the next preset I have is called Headless Oboes, and I just have it playing a hit on the downbeat. And for that preset, all I have is a little bit of delay on it. The next preset I have is the Rubicon Part 1 Flute Ending. I just have it going up and down the chord progression. And then for effects on that, all I have is a little bit of reverb. And I also just boosted the highs with the EQ. All right, and for the bass, I just have this key bass on the default setting. Listen, if you need a really good sub bass, go and get this. This is another free plugin. I'm telling you right now, this bass is crazy. I usually keep it on the default preset, but there's tons and tons of other presets that you could use. As far as the bass, I kept the notes really simple. On to the next sample. If you're getting anything out of this video, make sure to like it and share with another producer to help them get better at making Q Beats melodies. So the preset I have here uh, for the main melody on the second sample is the Vibes preset. Here's the MIDI for it right here.
for effects i have this dlym plugin this is one of the craziest delays that i own and what's cool about it is it's not only free but it has some crazy crazy sounds i also have an automation with halftime to slow it down i took the original melody i rendered it to audio and i pitched it up one full octave and then i ran it through halftime and so now it'll just be slowed down but it's at the same octave as the original sample All right, for the next preset, I have Wino Frontier, and I just have it playing a few notes from the chord progression. I pan it to the left and I added Epic Plate 2. It's kind of like another atmosphere. I added this No Strawberries preset, and I have it playing a couple notes from the chord progression as well. For effects, I panned it to the right, and I added that Mad Tape preset from DLYM. All right, for the counter melody, I added this preset called Pluck Mood, just to do something a little different. I had to do in this triplet melody. For effects, I have ROM Reverb. I have Effect Rack on the Crystal Choir preset. And then I added the Aquarium preset from J37. Make sure to turn your delay down to zero one. I added a little bit of delay and I added some of the Juno 6 Mode 2 Vintage Chords to come stock with FL Studio. And I boosted the highs. For the bass, I created this preset, but it's essentially a re-space in mono. You can copy those settings if you want them. And I just have it following the bass line. I didn't even need to put any effects on it. All right, on to the last sample. All right, so for the main sound on this third sample, I have the Pianos preset, a really good vintage sounded piano. And I got it doing this simple melody right here. For effects, I just have a little bit of saturation to make it sound vintage. Then I cut a little bit of the highs. To add a little bit of atmosphere, I did Cousteau's organ again. And I just followed the chord progression. For effects, I just have the epic played by a variety of sound again. For the counter melody, I just have this guitarist preset. I just did a short pluck melody. For effects, I have reels on the baked preset. And to double down on the vintage sound, I got RC20 on there on the vinyl one preset and I tweaked it a little bit. So for another atmosphere, I added this Merry Voices preset, and I have it doing the same thing as the last word. Notice I have two atmospheres, but they take up two completely different frequency ranges. So for effects, I just added some reverb, and I cut off a few of the high frequencies. The last sound I used for the bass was this key bass again, and I'm doing a simple melody right here. For effects, I didn't even touch it. Now, if you like any of these samples, I got good news for you. These are all from my new sample pack, Mellotron Dreams, now available at thelooopsource.com completely free. It comes with seven samples, all made with the Arturia Mellotron 5 plugin. If you wanna hear the rest of the samples, you can check out the video. The link is in the description. As always, stems and MIDI included. All samples are royalty free, even if you get a placement with a major artist. No further clearance is ever needed. I really want y'all to get this pack and thrive. I really hope you got something out of this video that you can use today. Once again, I go by Collier. Make sure to check out thelooptores.com for the free Mellotron Dreams pack. Link is in the description, and I'll see you in the next one.